Hello everybody, my name is Kim and I'm an illustrator slash animator from South Africa and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to export your layout in Harmony into a multi-layered PSD file that also has camera frames. So as you can see I've got my layout here and I've got a couple of layers that create the layout and I've got a camera movement which is just a simple zoom. Now what I want to do is I want to export this file into a multi-layered PSD but also print my camera movement onto that multi-layered PSD which will then be on a separate layer when I open it up in Photoshop. So there's two ways you can do this. We can use File Export Layout Image. This will export all of my layers out but I actually just want these two layers on my camera to be exported so I'm going to ignore my sketch and my color card and I'm going to just select my two layers and my camera by holding the shift button. Then in this case, instead of going to export layout image, I'm going to go to layout image from selection. So that's just going to export the layers that I have selected right now. And you'll get this dialog box popping up. Now this dialog box is exactly the same as the normal layout image export. The only difference here is that again we're just exporting the layers that we want rather than all of them. But they both work exactly the same way. So here is your destination path. This is where your file is going to save. I'm just going to save mine right to the desktop for now. The file pattern will be the name of the scene and then the frame. So this is going to export from the first frame, but it's going to add these camera movements into the file as well. Now here you can see the image size of my file. It's rather large. In fact, it's larger than the actual resolution of my camera, which is 1920 by 1080. The reason that is, is because down here I've got scale image selected. If you untick that, it's going to go back to the normal resolution of your largest camera. In this case, it would be camera A in my zoom. Now the reason why scale image is an option is that what it does is when you tick it, it'll take the smaller camera, in this case camera B, the zoomed in camera, and it will make that the resolution of my scene. So the smaller camera will be 1920 by 1080 and my larger camera will be this resolution over here. This just helps when you bring the image back in because it won't pixelate your image when you're zooming in with the camera. The file format is PST4, that's fine, that's what we want to leave it on because we want it to be a Photoshop format. Export to multiple files, I'm going to leave that unticked. And export camera frame, we want this exported. It's going to export, as I said earlier, onto a separate layer. So you'll be able to see the actual camera movement in your PSD. Add a camera frame for each frame. We want that ticked again because we want it to print the resolution of both camera A and camera B onto our PSD. And then label the camera frame. So this is just if you wanted to name your cameras A and B in your PSD file. That's totally up to you. Expand the render area. Mine is at 100% which means it's going to cut off at the edges of my largest camera. You can expand this area so that you have a bit more security when you're working on your PSD. In other words, you'll have all these little bits and pieces in the PSD itself. Again, this is up to you if you feel like you might want to move your camera around a little bit more after you re-import it. You might decide you want those pieces in there. I don't need them in there, so I'm leaving it at 100%. Again, scale image. This is going to change the resolution depending on how your cameras look. And maximum size. So this will limit the maximum size of your image. Just in case you're worried about it being too large to open in Photoshop, you can actually limit how large you want it to be. Ours doesn't get that big, so technically we don't need this, but it's there as an option if you feel you might need it. And then these over here just decide whether you want to export the artwork on all of these art layers, which you can see over here next to my camera. I've drawn everything on line art, so if I want to, I can leave these or I can just untick the ones that I haven't used. But at the end of the day, it's just whether you have art on those layers or not and whether you want that art to be exported. And I'm going to say, okay, now it's exporting my file. There you go. And if we take a look at what's on my desktop, you'll see two files here. Here is my PSD. That's what I'm going to open in Photoshop and edit. And this is my XLI file. Now this is important because this file 
is what is going to position your imported image into the right place when you re-import it into Harmony. So it's important to keep these two together. They should always be in the same folder. Mine's on my desktop together, so that's fine. But if you happen to move them anywhere, make sure that they move together. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Photoshop now and I'm going to color this in and make it look pretty. And then I'm going to show you guys how to import it back into Harmony. So I'll see you guys soon. Hey everybody, I'm back and I've finished coloring in my background. And now I'm going to show you how to import it back in with all of its layers and the camera reference. So I'm going to go to File, Import, and this time I'm going to Import Images. I'm going to now browse for my finished PSD. It's this one over here. Over here you've got your Create Layers options. You can create a single layer named after whatever you decide to name it, or you can create a layer based on file names. Then over here you've also got an Add to Existing Layer option, but that is grayed out for us. Now here is a very important box to tick if you want your layout to import exactly how you need it to be. In other words, import it to the right position so that it'll work with your layout and your camera movements. So this will reference from that little XLI file I told you about earlier, the one that has to stay in the same folder as your PSD. It's going to reference all of that information from this file. So again, make sure that that XLI file is in the same folder as the PSD that you are importing so that Harmony can read from that XLI file. And down here we're going to keep as an original bitmap. This imports the PSD as is and will allow you to edit the PSD in the Elements folder at a later stage. Now, you'll notice that when I select my Keeper's original bitmap, it will project the resolution of the file. That's what I'd like it to do. And we're going to keep the pre-multiplied with white on the alpha. Say OK. Now it's going to come up with multi-layer image import settings. You won't get this when you import a flat image. This is only going to pop up when it can tell that the format you're importing has multiple layers. We want it to create separated layers, not a single layer, but you could choose single layer if you wanted to flatten everything. And the transparency, we can just go for straight. So I'm going to say OK. And as you can see, it's now imported my image with my camera reference. So this is what I was talking about earlier. So it exported this image with my A camera and my B camera. And as you can see, it's a little bit pixelated right now, but if we go into our render view, you'll see that that sharpens up quite nicely. And now we also have a reference for our camera movement when it moves in. And as you can see here in the layers, I have separated layers for each of these images. So if I want to grab my camera and move it off or move it around or delete it, I can do that. I can also separate other parts of the image, such as the background and foreground elements. And you can go as far as you like with the separation. It just depends on how much you want to be able to move your background around in the scene. And that's how you export and import your layout images in Toon Boom Harmony. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you soon.